Look at the height. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. Tag team action in full effect, guys. And these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh! She's absorbing some offense here. She's going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, wow. I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it's still early enough for her to get back into this thing. Drop kick with precision. Going for it all here. What a strike. This is all but over. Hooked up. Oh, that might have just broken something. starting to take a beating but you can bet she has plenty of fight in her she's got her in her sights we know what's coming here Phenomenal forearm. that creates a big opening here I think that's it in order to be a premier tag team a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your... She's... Oh, destroy your face. She is just so dominant. Can that beat Sonya Deville? She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. I think she's trying to uh, prove a point here. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. But a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag. They're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag team, she might have it. Get out of the way. Oh, what a slam. That's it. That's what she needed. Can that beat so Ooh. Got every ounce of that. There it is. It's locked in. Smart maneuver. This one is over. Can that beat Sonya Deville? In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. In a standard so tag team match, match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. She's looking at it. You gotta believe this one's over. He's back in full control now. They won the match. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while.
That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. Here are your winners, the phenomenal one, Ashley Steele, and vivacious Russian Laura. Well, that one was over before it even started. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.